since I was probably about 13, 14 years old and it's, it's really helped me out with my life. Red Cross has given me the opportunity in order to feel good about my own parenting and it, they've made me feel like I can do anything I want. Now when they ring, I feel as though a part of my family is on the other end of the phone. They have become part of my life, quite a big part of it. I'm a single mother. I've got three kids. It was really expensive getting the kids to school and stuff like that and to the doctors and things, yeah. I ended up ringing Red Cross up and asking about it and they've told me they had a course going. When I talk about building back shelter, it's, it's only part of a healing process. So not only are we looking at what we are doing now, but we're looking at what we can give the community for the future. Doing a community-based health and resilience project is not as easy as just coming and delivering toilets or giving a big water tank. So a lot of time is taken to get to know the community and to place volunteers within that community. <laughs> I always look at for the future. I'm not looking. I never look at for the past. Medical workers save lives, sometimes in the most dangerous conditions. Medical workers must always be allowed to do their job, and the Red Cross or Red Crescent must not be attacked. It was like neighbour help somebody they don't even know. It was like everybody would just help each other out. Yeah, I was just, I was so chuffed that they had actually done outreach and been here so quickly. The thing I love most here is making friends. It's fun, you know. We realise once we're volunteering here how much Red Cross actually does for the community. Yeah.